small ice regular. Finally got a couple of nice days here. Sun is out. It gets to when it gets close to 40. It seems like feels like summer to me up here. Been so cold. Getting ready to uh, just want to be in a t-shirt, you know. No coat, no hat. Usually when I hook up the car trailer for some reason. You know, I could leave it hooked up for months and I won't get a call for a car or nothing. But um, it's usually the luck I get. I hooked it up to um, get it out of its spot and I was sort of ramming the uh, snow banks with it. Trying to break it up, trying to melt some of the snow around. Make some room. But I left it hooked up and then this morning I nailed the car. It's on... Uh, Sipping a coffee on Marketplace. Seen a Honda Civic on there. Kid broke down. Lost spark. So just got towed to his house and uh, made a deal on it. It's got a pretty, uh, I got to make sure it's got the factory converter on it. Hopefully it does. If it does, pretty good. So... Might make a little uh, quick little cash today. It's um, about 10 o'clock now. Kid said he was going to be home by 9.20, 9.30. So, just went over there. It's only um, two minutes from where I live. Went over there. His mom came out. Didn't know what was going on. Messaged him. And uh turns out he was running late but didn't feel the need to tell me so but that's usually how it works. So I just uh swung up, got a little bit of coffee. Yeah. Big old uh, LED light bar on the front bumper. I got kind of excited at first, but I should have known that uh, his mom says, Oh, he's still got to get his light bar off. Ah. So, uh, you know, I don't really care. Whatever. Let him get his light bar. I'll make my money. So I'll give him a few and head back over there. Guess I gotta be careful how many uh and uh I say I guess I say that there are my videos uh you guys are uh, kinda upset about that so I apologize but so it's tough to get uh junk cars these days especially on marketplace or Craigslist or anything like that. It's pretty tough. Um, just right now the prices of converters are high um, price of scraps pretty high everywhere else not really up here but you got to find the right place the right guy that's paying for them which I have but um, there's a lot of competition as soon as those prices go up a little bit everyone you know gets right back into it where I keep going no matter what, but I've only refused one, maybe two cars in the whole time I've been doing it for years. 
don't I don't really refuse anything. If I can make a couple of dollars, that's fine, you know, with me. But not looking to get rich. So, um, yeah, I saw this. It was the post was a you know it was a few hours old. I think he put it up last night, and uh, it was kind of confusing because it said Bangor. It broke down, so I wasn't sure where the car was. But it turned out it was in the same town. He uh, he had to pay to have it towed all the way back up here. So, um, so I kind of knew already what you know where I had to be on the price and uh, <clears throat> made him an offer. And of course, you know, he get, he said, "Oh, I already got calls from salvage yards, but the problem is." most of the time guys don't want to do it right then they want to schedule something for another day or you know they're too busy which would be good if you were that busy but <clears throat> where I'm kind of small time not exactly hauling cars around every second of the day so um, and then the other part was he hadn't got the title in the mail yet they're real slow it's true everything's slower up in Maine but and uh, it's also that way at the at the uh, registry, so um, it takes a long time to get a title for a car, and uh, so that might have been a problem for him selling it to somebody else, even though it's a 2000 Honda Civic, so it doesn't, I don't need a title to junk that, 2002 and newer needs it, so I said, you know, well, I offered him a little bit more, not as much as the scrapyard offered, or whoever he called, I don't know. He had someone that was going to come get it eventually. But um, I said, well, I said, I can come get it today. Like now, I can give you this much, and I don't need the title. So he liked that. And uh, so... That's why I ended up winning it. And uh, like I said, it ain't going to be a huge profit. And hopefully, hopefully I don't lose out on the converter. Hopefully that's the factory one. So...
pile of quarters, all kinds of goodies. Half a jug of 530, some speaker wire. Left everything. Bag of clothes, coat. Little air compressor. Oil, oil. Washer fluid. Two sets of jumper cables. It. It's a little cranking for you. Whoops.
know what time it is. It's celebration time. I don't eat fast food every day. I'd rather have my wife's cooking anytime, but long ride down. Hustle a little bit of money. Make a little profit for the day. Not much choice for uh, food. I mean, I don't want to go in anywhere. But for fast food, I mean, I got McDonald's near me. That's about it. So... It's nice to be able to get something a little different. Wendy's. One of my favorites. So. Burger King was right over there. That closed down. Bunch of Burger Kings closed, I guess. I like these natural style cut fries from Wendy's. Today they just came out of the fryer. Salted perfect. Sometimes there's no salt on them. I never put it in the bag either. You gotta ask for everything. Never drink soda, never have soda at home, unless I have, you know, cocktail, you know, rum and coke or something, but. It's a once in a while thing. Big old Sprite. I was, someone was worried about me eating healthier but what you don't see is I do with my meals, you know, during the week and stuff usually. You know, I do have vegetables and stuff, you know. We have some nice, uh, nice sit-down meals, so it's not all bad. But today, chicken's healthier than burger, isn't it? We got a... Jalapeno, jalapeno, popper, uh, chicken sandwich. So, I didn't really read any description on this, but it was, uh, as you pulled up to the drive-thru, there was about ten different signs that screamed it at you. And, uh, they, they, they were just telling me what I was getting, you know. I mean, we got... Looks like uh, some sort of like maybe a cream cheese popper filling uh, sauce on there. Uh, I thought it was going to be like, you know, actual like jalapeno poppers. So I think the uh, I think they used like the spicy chicken. So because I'm getting some uh, familiar spice from that. Of course, jalapenos you're gonna get a little bit of heat, but um, it's got bacon on there and it's got like regular cheese.
beautiful day. 45 degrees. Sun's out. Haul a junk car. Make a couple of bucks. That's all you can really ask for. So, some pretty strong heat coming from this. I'm not really uh, too much of a. Oh, I'm saying, uh, uh, I'm saying too much, huh? Too much, huh? I don't really like uh, spicy stuff too much, you know. I don't like the stuff that really burns your mouth off, but like some people do. Like, one of my favorite things, buffalo wings, chicken wings in general, but... If it was possible, probably eat chicken wings every day. Probably never get sick of them, but can't really do that. Um, not really acceptable. But I don't want those really hot ones, that, you know, burn your mouth. I like to enjoy my food. A little bit of spice. This right here. Not sure I'd get it again. I think the fact that the chicken itself is like battered in that, like that spicy batter, whatever it is. I think I was a little much. I think if they just used like, if the chicken was just a regular fried chicken, and then they put the peppers, I think that'd be enough heat for me, but... I'm getting double, I'm getting two different kinds of heat going on out of this, and uh, wipes out your taste buds, you know. But, not something I would usually, I would usually order, but I figured something different. Um, 1099 for this meal large size because of the fries but He's burning. Definitely burning. So, the, um, the cat on that Honda was one that came right off that front manifold. And it was the factory one, so that was good. The car had 270,000 miles on it. I like a little, uh, something about the honey mustard from there. There's a certain taste to it. So, you know, dip a couple fries in there, whatever. Some more sodium for you. More salt. Not good for the blood pressure. So... You know, for the amount of time and aggravation it would take me to get that cat off, which would be cutting it in, in two separate places on the bottom, then on top, 
you got to get the heat shield out of the way and that's all rusted and then after that you can bust the bolts off or take them out if they come out the last Civic I did they came out very easily but you're still talking about you know at least a half an hour messing around a couple sawzall blades you know a couple of busted knuckles when it doesn't make much sense they have the guy take it off there for 10 bucks we've talked about it before so you probably already know but Ten bucks. So then once that's off, I can sell that separately to them, you know, as a core, where if somebody just went in and brought that car in, he would give them a set price for the whole car and take a chance on the cat. But for me, it's a little different because he knows what I'm doing. And I know the value of the converters, and there's no getting around that. So he offers a service to everyone else, too. It's $15 to anyone else, and... He says, you know, I'll cut it off for you. And you no obligation to sell to me, you know, if you don't like my price, but he pays the highest around. Then the only thing is, once you get that off, they check it. Make sure it's full. Make sure it's full of all that good material, the rhodium, the platinum and the palladium so if you got something with 270,000 miles you know chances hopefully that, that thing's full because it can break away the material inside can break away and then it spits back the rest of the exhaust and it'll sit inside the muffler or you know spit right out but um got lucky they check it they stick a uh, they use like an old uh, antenna you know off a car and stick it in make sure it stops right there it's full so that was pretty good that same I did a I keep track like I have like a folder on my computer of all the pictures of the cars and the cats that I sold and um, I looked I found uh, that Civic it was like a 99 Civic which was the same thing I found that in there and looked at it this morning and um, that cat the same one it was on that car from today was half the price um, <clears throat> when I sold the last one so it shows you how much prices have gone up it was it was actually over double what it was before so that was pretty good and then he buys the cars for a set price small car Big car, van, SUV, and trucks are all different, all different categories. He's not worried about the weight. Doesn't have a scale. He's in it for the cores. He's in it for the cats and the wheels and the batteries. So, I get paid separate for the battery. That car didn't, that car just had steel wheels, so you didn't get nothing for that. And I brought him that one battery I had there, that junk one. So, those are like 
eight dollars a piece I think right now for batteries so. not bad don't take that guy long to get those converters off I mean it's all he does and uh, you know once you do that you know every car when that as soon as you see that car you know what's involved you know you're gonna need this that you know you know you know how to go about it so not too bad wait around for a few minutes it only takes them about five minutes to get it off you can see when I was picking that up if you notice I was trying to get my ramps out and uh, maybe you already know what happened but using the trailer for a battering ram on the snow banks was uh, kind of fun it worked out good the only thing was it packed my ramps full of ice and snow couldn't get them out now you take the pry bar chip away get them out of there a little bit of an aggravation but life goes on That guy has climbed up the ladder, started off with a truck and trailer, just like me. Just hustling, and uh, he has, uh, now he owns his own yard, and he's in it with the... Uh, he sells the converters right to the refinery so who knows what he's getting probably doubling his money maybe not I'm not really sure no one will ever know that except if you're one of those guys but he slowly moved up to a couple of trucks and trailers, people driving for him. Then he got a medium duty, like a regular, you know, ramp truck. Started using that, had someone driving that. And he just bought a brand new Peterbilt, big truck, real nice. And, uh, in there eating his lunch said oh I'm exhausted I just want to eat and I said exhausted driving around your fancy new truck you know busting on him a little bit and he said no he said I don't like it he said I don't want to drive around in a truck and he said you got a clean driving record I'll put you in that truck tomorrow Offered me a job. So that's all you do. Drive around in that truck. The only problem is I live so far away. Too long of a ride. Plus, I wouldn't be able to get my own cars and hustle my own self.
but there is something to say, something to be said for steady paycheck. But some people like that, and some people like the life of a hustle, like me. Cheers.